Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Sorry, just something just fell on my foot. Luckily it was yarn and not a spider or anything. So, hi there, welcome back. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when there are new videos. Look what arrived today. Only a few months late, but one arrived. Again in the bag, not the box, which is meant to be eco-friendly so not a cost cutting exercise of course not so here we are it's flip crate in a bag and this is my yarn so this one two skeins and oh neck light I've been at the garden all day after I've recorded my video, so hair's been up, so it's probably very bumpy, but sorry if it's a mess. Um, right, what we've got here is Sahara, 50% alpaca, 25% Peruvian Highland Merino wool blend, and 25% Suri alpaca. It's a DK, it's 252 yards, 230 meters, 100 grams. It's a hand wash, gently lay flat to dry so what do you think DK doesn't look very much like a, a three weight DK to me that is very thin looks more like a four ply or a sport weight over across the pond so forgotten already what did I say it was called Sahara I like the color actually not one I would look in a shop and go, I must have that. It is mega soft. It really, really is mega soft. So this is from Vidalana Oasis. My need to create, and here is the book. Oh, hang on. I've got some sort of spongy thing. What do you reckon that is? Um, well slip one stitch one repeat well i don't quite know what that is is it a little a little pot if you squash the bottom does it go like a cup go over it do you think it's made of sponge could be for your cup picture of a a pot but i don't think it's a pot let's have a look in the book shall we not the best free gift I've ever seen, I have to say, but uh, you know, the beats are two stickers, which is what I've got before. So here we are, Knit and Crochet Club Vidalana Oasis. Let's see what it says. This month's yarn is the luxurious Vidalana, Vidalana, Vidalana Oasis, a mix of, as I said, 50% alpaca, 25% uh, Peruvian Highland Merino wool and 25% Suri alpaca. These three kinds of wool blend perfectly to create a yarn with beautiful drape that is oh so soft to the touch and it is very very soft and as you can see you know it's very soft will be very drapey but very thin for a DK very thin um your crate comes with two matching skeins obviously always does um you won't be able to resist including these silky smooth fibers in your next project and the colors that they've got are phoenix tucson morocco sahara casablanca palm springs and nevada from the top down so out of all of them it's one of the better colors i'd say although i do like that one Right then, let's have a little look here. What we got in here? Knit a log. Knit log, knit log. Happy little sock. So we've got knit this little kind of very holy shawlette thingy. Um, or crochet, very similar. And then we have knit happy little tree sock and crochet there's a little sock as well there's a sock that's crocheted 
you can just see sock and this is a tree sock so those are the projects so that knitted one is called leaves and soda all the instructions are there and what have we got here what's that yeah it's the same one the jackson shawl which is the crocheted one i believe um let's have a look for the instructions yeah that's the crocheted jackson shawl which is that one there more like a scarf isn't it looking that way anyway and the tree socks look more like socks on this page they're kind of cute actually i like them but i won't be making them i've never knitted socks in my life the happy little tree very pretty though kind of cool i like the pattern and then we have lots and lots of where's the other ones can't be all of the pattern uh for that sock surely it's huge maybe it is perhaps it is there's the chart and then a little tiny one for the side line they're pretty as well actually so we've got socks and shawls in the book that's it that is the knit crate i have to say their gifts have gone completely and absolutely downhill since i joined knit crate and these are um these ones coming here are my free knit crates um i'm not paying for these although they did charge me postage and apparently refunded me i've still yet to check that out but I will do, because otherwise they're charging me £11.95 each time. I can only conclude that this goes on a glass or a cup. I can't really see any other use for it. So, what do you think? I like the yarn actually, it's very nice, but it is very thin. It is definitely a sock yarn, but look at that, it's so thin. No way would I call that a DK, but it is lovely. It's nice yarn. So that's that's this knit crate, and I have no idea. This was called Mirage. Mirage. So what do you think of the yarns? It's very nice feel, and these are the colours. That's a nice colour. That one there. What were they called again? Top down was Phoenix, the dark one, and we had Tucson, which was that one and Morocco, which was this one. And then Sahara, which was the one they sent me. Casablanca is the green. And then that bluey one is Palm Springs and the bottom one is Nevada. I don't know if I'd call that Nevada. Nevada, a bit jazzier than that, I would have thought, considering that Las Vegas in Nevada. But what do you think? What do you think of the projects? What do you think of the yarn? I know Knit Crate has its knockers at the moment. Um, you know, it's... <laughs> I wasn't being rude. But they do, they have their knockers and I've been very patient with them, which I know um, some people like uh, Jennifer from Cinema Stitches has outed them. But... Um, I'm conscious of the fact that I live further away and so anything they send me does take longer. So I, and also I've been recovering from surgery so I've not noticed the length of time that's gone by as much as I would have done if I'd just been sitting by the door waiting for them to arrive. So um, yeah, I've kind of been a bit more patient which, um, you know, judging that from the distance they have to get to me. Um, and they said that they are all out with the courier they gave me the tracking numbers and the first one arrived today. So they should actually arrive, in theory, in rapid succession. In theory, if they're all out with couriers. But, you know, depends whereabouts <laughs> they are, I guess, with the couriers. But I have to say, this is absolutely lovely yarn. Whether I will use it or give it away... I don't know and I just want to say to Granny D that I'm going to be posting yours off very soon um, and 
doing my winners and posting off some more. Um, I've had a lot of delays getting out. Um, I can now drive myself, although I've got a little snag that I can't use my car at the moment, but um, I will, will be able to very soon. There's a problem with the insurance. Um, for some reason, it should have happened and it didn't happen. So I need to call them, get that sorted out, and I can go out and about again. But I can now drive, that's not massive distances, but I can drive myself about now um, since my surgery. So um, I will get those bits and pieces posted out. So this, I'm not sure what I'll do with this yet. We'll have to see. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Not necessarily what you think, we well, can let me know what you think of Nick Crate, but um, what you think of this particular pack. Um, pack, it's a pack. But it is beautifully soft, really lovely. I would like an alpaca, you know, keep it in the garden, keep the grass down. I always get a free hair, every bit of yarn, free hair. So thanks for watching, stay safe, take care. I'll see you on the next one. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And um, we'll see what they have to send. Hopefully I won't have to wait too long now for the rest. I have no idea what month this is what month knit crate because it doesn't actually say or does it theme peak july 2021 weekend but i don't think that doesn't say in the book what it is june june knit crate so this <laughs> is september and i have just received june so yeah they're a little behind just a bit thanks for watching I'll see you soon. Bye for now.